I like pina coladas and killing grubs in the rain. Dun, 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 dun. What do we have with this again? I don't want to waste my key on that. And I should probably be Greek. Greek? Greeting you guys. Welcome to episode 8 of her first time Hayden plays Hollow Knight. I wish I really knew what the symbols on the signposts meant. I'm just going to presume it's a good thing and follow it. Oh, that door is locked. And some treasure chests. How has everyone's week been? Good? Uh, I was going to record this back to back with episode 7, but I ended up not doing that. Oh, nothing. Actually, oh, we open up that door. Nope. Uh, but I didn't. I got really tired last night when I was recording it, so I just went back up to the top of the tier city and saved. Had to sit down with Quarrel. Oh, shoot. Oh. That's... The little guy is full of tricks. He can swim. We got the Hollow Knight wet. It's so atmospheric. I forgot about this. Right. I saw the things you have to jump out to here. Cross and new. Oh, shoot. Proper. He's like one of those guys that are marching back and forward up in the tower part. Oh, he's gonna get crushed, get crushed! No. Um. I was thinking about a few things actually last night. Uh, if you remember a few episodes back, we were talking about like Emil Durkheim and the division of labor and Young and the subconscious and blah blah blah, hive minds. And I was thinking, did Orange come out of him actually before I say this? This might debunk my whole theory thus far, but like take for instance this guy. The orange definitely comes out of him when I'm whacking him. It's like something that's possessing them as we saw with uh, Sly at the shopkeeper when he was like hypnotized. The only enemy, oh nice, that I've seen so far that hasn't, oh god I shouldn't have done that, uh, seen so far that hasn't been possessed was the mantises. They didn't have the orange stuff coming out of them. And I think it was Quirrell as well. Or was it the giraffe insect girl pointed out that it had something to do with them kind of being like not higher beings, but stronger wills than the rest of the insects that seem to have succumbed to this possession for want of a better term. So, like, I'm just trying to... Yeah, there's these guys definitely... Even though they seem strong, you'd think these guys would have some agency. Obviously not. Oh, God. Blast! Oh, he's like one of the giant around. Uh, I didn't deserve to kill him there. That was my torns that did the job for me. I was also thinking a bit... I know we were talking about... Oh, up or down, up or down. Let's go down. Hmm. Oh, this is the other side of the elevator that we just came up. Nice one. What's this guy? Oh, shop. Class. The Relic Seeker Lem. AA, come searching for rare items, have you? Well, hands off. This collection is mine and I won't be selling to grubby little wanderers. I'm not grubby. I've just had a bat in the river. Still, I imagine you come across many interesting items in your travels. Maybe you'd care to part with some. I'll offer a fair trade for Tell each. I'm not selling anything. I don't actually know if they might be useful for something. I don't think it's worth parting with them. Shop, and you can listen as well, can't you? What do you have to say? Oh, no touching the antiques. My stock is not for sale. Still, if you've managed to come on an interesting trinkets during your travels, I may be willing to trade. Step over to the counter here and I'll see what you've got. All right, he literally is nothing interesting to kind of offer me. So, all that talk about Atlantis got me kind of talking about uh, real lost civilizations and stuff like that. I don't want to get too... Graham Hancock on this, okay? So I'm not saying there's like aliens technologies that have built these things and we've lost it because of that. Damn, that was stupid of me. I feel kind of OP that I could survive that. Maybe I am a bit. But like, some really cool ones that I can think of are like 
the eastern islands you know those islands with the big stone heads i think it was a few years back they discovered they actually had bodies attached to them and were just buried into the ground you know look it looked like they had just carved giant stone faces into rocks um what they say like why that civilization kind of seemed to disappear was that even though they were highly sophisticated to be able to do what they did like with their sculptures uh they used up like all the resources on the isleable so while they were highly um developed it was also unsustainable it's another locked door is it what is that crying so they eventually just had to pack up and leave i hate these little guys come on come back and do that do it again yeah that was a waste The kind of eastern island thing is like almost what we're doing to the planet on like a micro level. They were highly um, impressive with what they could do with their technology, but it wasted all the natural resources on the island and they eventually just had to feck off. Oh, it's one of those little kamikaze guys. I wonder can you kill them? I don't want to find out. Nice little desk area. How, I wonder, like, if you picked up any of these books, would they just fall apart with all the moisture? Are they absolutely destroyed? Come on. Even with my nail upgraded, a blast. Oh, I'm doing bad here. There's still, like, he is quite a bit of health, clearly. Open sesame. And, oh, genie, that's a big fall. I'm just going to go back up there in case I missed anything when I fell. There was absolutely nothing up there. It was just meant to be a big drop. Right, do I call up the lift? There's something glowing down there. So I'm going to say no. In. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah, oh god. Okay. Bait him. I'm in very clumsy. What is up in this now? Another one of those rancid egg, egg, egg tegs? Eggs. I don't know what they do. Let's kill this dude. Poor little grub. Mm, not grub. Grunt. Grunt. That's the word I'm looking for. Shoot. What does that do? Opens up the lift. I don't know where that lift goes to at the bottom. It's not the lift that I missed at the very beginning. Let's see where it goes to down the very bottom. What other really cool kind of like abandoned cities? That doesn't go down any... F oh, wait. I'll hit it. Oh, no. That was stupid. My God! Okay, we'll just do it this way. Oh, there's loads down here. Okay, so it turned out all of that was just actually the way I came. So, complete waste of time. Upwards and onwards. And out to the right. Uh, other cool abandoned cities. Petra in Jordan is somewhere I'd really love to visit. It's that kind of um, ancient city that's built into the sides of really arid desert mountains. It for okay, this is gonna be like a nerdy description. It's like if Helen's Deep was built in Dorn. Okay, that's just back down again. Uh Lord of the Rings is obviously Helen's Deep. It's where they're all here in, in the two towers where they retreat when Isengard is laying siege, and Dorn is like the sand What's, like the desert kind of uh, region into the south of Westeros in Game of Thrones or Song of Ice and Fire if you're a book fan. Yeah, that was a bit of a rambly tangent. Uh, Game of Thrones, when is that back? There's another few months. Oh, nice on a bench or a spot. Respite. What, there's going to be another seven episodes. Oh, go away. Grub! I will save you. And he died really easily. 
it, it there actually seems to be a bit of a difference, doesn't there? There's the ones with the javelins and there's those ones with the swords. The javelin ones have much more health. Speaking of health, I need to heal up. That's the veer on the side of caution. I know what that little bit of parchment means. I think we might have a particular cartographer quite nearby. Hmm. That looks ominous, so I'm going to say no. I'm going to follow where the parchment was going to. Ah! My mistake. That's pretty cool kind of rumbly music, isn't it? Come on. Charge. Easy. Ah, maybe not. This nail upgrade is sick. Ah. How didn't he hurt me there? He came down right on top of me. Ah, and the bench is up this way as well. Machu Picchu is another thing that I would always like to have seen. It's kind of one of those places that when you learned about it in history just made you kind of like just go, wow. Like all those stone structures up in the middle of the mountains. I, I, this is going to sound bad, but I'd like to kind of visit it when I'm in my 20s because I'm already quite lazy as it is. So I'd like to go there when I'm actually able to walk up and get to it. Isn't this a change? Acorn, first I should have said hello and not just into you like that. Isn't this a change from those twisting natural caverns? The rain does cast something of a sadness upon it all, but the architecture is simply splendid. Ah, uh, I don't know if I find rain depressing. It's purifying, washes away things. That's a bit grim and dark, isn't it? Charting such a different space is quite the challenge, though one I've eagerly undertaken. Perhaps you'd care to purchase a copy of my achievement so far. You know I do, honey. Ninety. You never, you never kind of veer on the side of inexpensive, do you? What else do you have to say? We've come, come far to reach this grand place. While I'm about these buildings, I must remember to collect a trinket or two for Zelda. Don't worry, I'm looking after Zelda for you. Eh? Eh? Nah, don't, don't joke about that. Another place that I always wanted to see was Angkor. Oh my god, it's Zote! Hello! Oh, watch where you're going. Watch where you... What the... F Start it again. Oh, watch where you're going, you soggy vagabond. I don't want you splashing me. I've had a miserable time trying to keep dry. You're just miserable anyway, you old... Words I won't say. I am Zoth the Mighty, a knight of great or own. If I decide that I'm going to stay dry, then that's what's going to happen. Or you'll get caught by a monster and I'll have to save you. Why is he talking to me like he doesn't know who I am? Curse this wretched city. Water and monsters constantly falling from above. It's no wonder this blasted kingdom fell to ruin. I can imagine it had something to do with some evil person. Have you seen them? The guards who still patrol the city even after... Dying? Hmm. Being overly devoted to one's duty is no virtue. Right, that's just put a spanner... He's just saying the same thing. A complete spanner in my whole kind of hive mind brave control activity. The reanimated corpses. So there's necromancy going on. That's not why where I thought. Because you see quite a lot of bodies littered around the place. Why don't they, whoever is bringing them back to life. And why are they bringing them back to life? This changes my whole outlook on the game. Oh, haha. <laughs> Some head on him. Yeah. Hmm. What was I saying, anyway? Yeah, Angor in Cambodia. It's kind of this, uh... It's like a temple mountain mixed with concentric gardens in the Khmer kind of architectural style. It's... How to describe it? It's made out of, I want to say, sandstone. It's got this really grey that just makes it seem... You can't say a building seems wise. But you know when you look at a building and you're just like, that building's got some culture in it. It's, it's just impressive and astounding. 
I, I think, I, obviously I've never been, but the photographs of it, uh, oh cool, another simple key. I might actually use that then down in the bottom if I have two of them. I didn't know how rare sparse those things would be, that's why I was kind of holding off on it. Um, the way it blends, it's very ornate and symmetrical design from its kind of fine cone towers and its uh, carvings and reliefs of the faces of deities into the side of the buildings. A Wanderer's Journal, we'll have to have a look at that in a second when we find somewhere to rest. Mixed with the design of like the nap, the nature around it, like the flora of kind of how the trees kind of, I don't want to say palm trees, I'm not actually sure what sort of trees they are. It's a while since I looked at a picture of it. Uh, but it's the greenery and the grey. Just, I think it's a beautiful colour combination mixed with actually how impressive of a building it is. The colour combination, I think I first, obviously I live in Ireland, so we have grey skies and it's quite a green country. But there is a painter called Kiffin Williams. He's a Welsh uh, landscape artist that just paints the Welsh countryside and like the two primary colors that he works with not actual primary colors but like his main palette is gray and greens and i, I would recommend they're not the most it's i don't know how to describe his style it's not impressionist or anything like that but it, it evokes the emotion of the landscape of the weather and the, the color palette rather than making it look realistic and overwhelming it, yeah i'm sorry i'm on a tangent about that now i should be concentrating on the game yeah, we got our stag. Always good. Connection. That can't be all of the stations, can it? It's only a bronze trophy, so maybe it's only half. When we're here, let's have a look at this Wanderer's Journal. The Wanderer's Journal. A journal left behind by a long dead traveller. The words are written in a forgotten dialect difficult to understand. Relic from Hollownest's past. This item now holds little value except for those dedicated to the kingdom's history. So it'll be your man that wants to buy all the stuff off me, I'm guessing. It's just good to have the stag here as well. That's why I rang the bell. Alright, let's go to the left, to the left. Ah, oh, damn it, I forgot he was there. Everything you own in a box to the left. Come on. I just feel like I can take the hits. That's why I'm not playing very well. I always have excuses for I'm not playing well. Like I'm like, uh, I can't, I feel almost invincible. And I'm probably going to eat those words. Hmm. Oh, it's not a boss fight. There's another little toll thing. Toll machine for lift 150 Gia. I will go gather that and come back. Okay, we've got all our geo. Let's see where this big ass looking lift leads to. That thing in the background there doesn't look dissimilar to the egg in the temple, does it? Or am I reaching there? Where are we back to? Oh, class, this is the bottom of the crossroads. That was obviously the elevator that I was banging on at the very start of the game. Oh, yeah. Okay. There must have been more to the city of Tears than that, so I'm going to go... Oh, what's that up at the top of the map? The temple has the Hollow Knight's head looking quite ominous over it. Right. We go back down to the city of the Tears, explore the rest of the map that I've unexplored there, and then we'll go up to the temple and see what that's got to offer us. Cool. Maybe I'll go to the left and see what's over there as well. Okay, just in case of time constraints, in case I had to cut anything out, over to the left of the elevator, I found another kind of soul shard, which as you can see has now given me a second circle to the left of my larger circle that fills up with soul. So I presume that means I'm gonna have like two whole extra segments to gather soul in to give me a lot more casting power. Remember, I kind of ventured away from this place because I looked at, thought it looked a bit scary. Rightfully so. He's not a boss. Oh, he's not a boss. There's no name. He's a wizard. 
And he's damn fast with his teleporting. Yes. Uh, yes. Yeah. Oh, he was quite easy. That was a regular enemy, though. That seems quite... Uh, I suppose I'm not going to be OP forever, am I? Let's see what is up here. <laughs> Can't just make that jump. <laughs> or that jump. Let's gaze at the window longingly and get really sad and forlorn because of how pathetic I am. What the heck? Yeah, there we go. The Soul Sanctum. Oh, that is some ominous orchestra music. Or organ music, not orchestra. What's this? Ugh. Oh, classic gave me a load of soul. Gave me a load of soul, but awoken what? Looked like, mm, I don't want this, mm, I won't say that. Something that, uh, yeah, no, there, there's no, oh, this thing again. Damn it. Is, when I break that, is it giving life to those little creatures? Uh, at least my horns killed them. What is this place? Is it like... Place for magic and stuff if I'm gathering all that soul. This might tell me. Record Al, but the mind still has a limits us so. How to break past its constraint to attain a pure focus? Is it even possible? Okay, it's a place for practice and magic. What is this? A Hogwarts for ants? I think that might be one of my best jokes. <laughs> Zoolander, what a great movie. I don't know if it's aged well. I remember the first time I watched it with my little brother. We were uh, in a hotel in Le Leeds, of all places. I had gone out to a Manic Street Preachers concert, and he was gone to a football match. And when I came back at about half, 11, 12-ish, he was, like, in the bed watching that. And I was it was his first time ever seeing it. I was like, yeah, th this, this is what it's about. I had brought us back a curry chip and stuff. Oh. Wait, so is he... Is this the body of the things that I've been fighting? And it's just... Oh, shit. Well, I'm sorry for cursing. I just broke it anyway. Oh, what the... Oh. Hercule... Oh, God. Oh, God. What? That just like, wiped out most of my health. Uh, my healing takes way too long. I'm not getting in any hits. And then I do that. He's backing up. What the... Okay, we need to concentrate now and stop talking. He teleports too, not good. He's kind of like the Mantis Lords with doing that attack. Yeah, no, you're not too tough. Yeah, maybe you are. I'm not giving you the credit you deserve. There's no time to heal. Again, no name for... Mm, damn it. I know I get really quiet when I'm concentrating, so I know it's probably not terribly entertaining. Got a nice rhythm going here. Probably going to jinx it on myself. Exactly what I did. Oh, yes. Look at all that geo. It's raining geo on me. What was the point in that, though? Oh, I didn't see that doorway there. Okay, let's check our map. Let's go down and then up. Because up generally indicates that's the direction you're meant to... Oh, no. Go away. I feel way too underleveled for here.
These are getting harder and harder because there's less things to use as, and I'm just being clumsy. Oh, I only have two left. I pr should probably turn back. Why wouldn't that work? Ridiculous! I paid good money to be in this hotel. Hogwarts. Oh, mm. How many people are into Harry Potter? <laughs> that that's that that's a very generalized question. What I was thinking in my head was, my f I didn't start reading the books until after I'd seen the movie, and even then, not initially after I'd seen the Philosopher's Stone, because I think that came out very similar to the Fellowship of the Ring. And I remember everyone in school was like, oh, Harry Potter, it's the best thing ever. Like, what are you at, mate? This is like, this is the be all and end all of this. Our culture is kids. What's this thing? Can I break this? Nope. Oh, there's too many of them. I messed up. I messed up. I can admit when I've messed up. This is, I was about to slag off Harry Potter and now the wizards are having their revenge. I wasn't going to slag off Harry Potter. I do really like it. I just thought Lord of the Rings at the time was a better movie. Please don't kill me for that. Ha ha! Harry Potter was shite! No, no, I do genuinely like the book still. That's what I was going to talk about. Ugh! Ugh! Well, at least they don't come back, so I might as well run as far into the level as possible. Mm, there we go. Okay, we're back to where we died, at least. Please don't let our soul kill us. Soul, dark shade. I don't really know what to refer to that as. Don't go away from... Oh. Oh my god, I had opened a shortcut. I didn't need to go the whole way back around that. Idiot. Right. Uh, can you go up? You can. But you can also go out this way. Gorgeous. <sighs> That's a lot of soul. Oh, it's lights. We're out in the roof. It's the light from the inside shining up on us. That is damn... That didn't sound good. Oh, dear. Did you just see that come up there? Oh, uh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah. here we go, the Soul Master. This is obviously the big, big frog. Wow, he's far too quick. How do you hit him? Am I hitting him? Yeah, there we go. Oh, shh. What the hell? Okay, don't waste my soul because that's ridiculous. Oh dear, this is like creepy baby ghost things up here. Oh no, this is stupid. This was even worse idea than the boss. It's kind of like the upper cathedral ward in Bloodborne. You know where you find all the little kind of the children that they've experimented on to turn into um, great ones? Inspect. The spell twister. What does that do? Spell twister. Reflecting the desires of the soul sanctum for mastery over soul and improves the bearer's ability to cast spells. Reduces the soul cost of Reduces the soul cost of casting spells. That could be very useful for healing. Okay, let's try and crack his code. Or run and try and get a lot of hits in straight off the bat. Right, fire wheel, jump. Nope, that doesn't. Nope, got hit by it twice. And then it comes back around. Okay, jump through it, fine. What's he doing? What's he doing? Jump over that. Nice. 
fire wheel. Oh, let's have to jump twice. Oof. What's this gonna be? Can't hit him there. No. Get in under him? No. No. He's far too many going on there. Ah, Hayden. I'm gonna use this to heal rather than hit him again. So close. I'm not really close. I've gotten what into the second phase. They have at least three. Jump straight into that. Idiot. Idiot. Let there be light. I wonder how many hits I can get into start two. I probably could have got three there if I was clever. Hit. No. It's very fast paced for a guy so big. I can't tell if I'm hitting him or not even. No, I definitely wasn't. When he teleports that one time, you can't... Ah, yes, that hit him. Oh, stupid. That will come back to me now again. And I jump straight into it. Not much use in knowing what his attacks pattern is if you don't know how to respond to it. Yes! Heal. Once. Hit. Hit. Whoo. Hit. Yes. Ah! Stupid. Come on. Yes! Okay, 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 okay. Jump. Ah. Did I dodge that? Class. I'm getting really bad at that part. Nope. Should have taken my opportunity to heal. Shoot. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Will I get to come up? Oh, nice one. Come on. Ah! Uh, damn it, every time. Oh, yes! That has to be it, yeah? No. Okay, come on. He's really speeding it up. At least it's... Yes! Oh, he's going berserk. Ugh, that's blinding. Class, what's this? What the hell? No. Oh, no, go away. That is scummy. Can you hit him? This is a dirty boss. Yes. I got very greedy. Uh, that's a big blow. Debt to him. What do I get for it? Oh, that thing that was up at the top. Yes, please. New power. The desolate dive. Tap O. When holding down to strike the earth with a burst of power, spells will deplete soul or punish soul by striking enemies. That's obviously what I'm going to use to break up the ground that I've seen, like, in the Forgotten Crossroads and that when you see the rumble in earth. Excellent. Right. 
I think this is as good a place as anyway to call an end to episode 8. Finally a high note. I think we've run very long on this one, guys. So, uh, thanks for sticking around. Sorry I got a bit quiet there towards the end. I was getting a bit overly focused and agitated with taking out this bloody bugger. But anyway, until next time, buzz off and hope you have a good week. I'll see you for episode 9. Bye bye. Oh god, actually, look at all his corpses. And now he's one with them. Do you think these were things that he was experimenting on? If it's the necromancy, why didn't he bring them back to life and just have them devour me? Hmm. Taught the ponder on. Again. <laughs> Finally, bye.